So I left. I'd never been on that road. And I never, I, I got as far, far the, the furthest south I'd ever been was to uh, Nephi, Utah. And so when I got past Nephi, it was all new to me, all the way. And I just had this energy, this, this man, I just got to get there. And I got cleared through Utah. I got through the Arizona, I mean the uh, Nevada. Well, well, you go through a little tiny bit of Arizona. Then you go uh, get into Nevada. And then I got into California. And I got around Baker. And I had to stop in the middle of the night and lock up the doors and just go to sleep. Didn't last very long, and then I was back at it again. It was a great thing to go to the hospital, which was located on uh, Sunset Boulevard and Normandy, right on the corner. Uh, I get there on a Thursday. I get there about Thursday, mm, early afternoon. I go to the hospital, they look her up, she comes, wearing all this outfit. In those days, they had these cute hats that they would wear, these nurses, and their uniforms stiffly starched. It looked wonderful. Compared to how they look now, they look like Raggedy Ann dolls. They look horrible in comparison. But, and uh, I said, we'll, be, we'll get married on Saturday morning. So now this is Thursday. I saw for a rent sign across the street. So I go there and I rent an apartment right across the street. I got to get pictures. I go to the art center school. I had a friend who was going there, and I said, I need a photographer on Saturday morning. We worked it out. Sitting around over there, there are three photographs that he took that day, which was the biggest day of my life. And uh, the temples on Santa Monica, beautiful. Went there, didn't know anybody. Walked in, handed out our temple recommends. The president of the temple heard about it, felt sorry for us. He agreed to marry us. We didn't ask him to, but he just said, I'll marry them. And he did. I mention this because the one thing that just amazed me in walking out of that temple after we were married, she put her hand around my arm right here like this, took a hold of me. And it hit me. Gosh, I gotta take care of her. I gotta take care of her the rest of my life. I gotta get food, I gotta take, put the clothing on her back, I gotta, I gotta put a roof over her head, I gotta keep her happy. I mean, my goodness gracious, the, the idea of responsibilities went bang like that. But we were on our way. Well, which ended up, ended up being uh, two forks, two knives, two spoons, uh, three plates, uh, three cups, three glasses, a couple pans, and a knife or two. And we were in business. <laughs>